Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to a brand new episode of Dark Souls 2. As you can tell, a little different here. Unfortunately, I am pained to announce that I lost a good por uh, portion of audio and gameplay. Uh, essentially, it recorded the first part of this episode. I did it in two parts this time around, and I did audio for both parts through my microphone, through Audacity, but the gain on the first one was so loud, it sounded like I was speaking like this the entire time. <laughs> Um, so obviously not good couldn't do anything in post so I'm showing you uh, Everything from the second recording and a little bit more drawn out that way There's a little more to watch this time around But I'm gonna go ahead and talk about what we have seen so far that I couldn't show you so here's a little montage Let's get into it First thing we did was actually take a left as soon as we get into the lost Bastille And there is a chest guarded by the pursuer go ahead and grab that and there is a soul serpent ring in there as well as a fragment branch of your, if I do recall so. Next thing we got is the barrel down the uh, down the stairs. If you are able to kill that big boy next to it and he can't seem to roll that down, you're able to actually remotely roll that stuff into, or roll the barrel into the wall and that barrel will explode and there will be a new vendor that you have to give a dull ember to for him to really do anything for you but you'll be able to use him. There's also a free bonfire there, so go ahead and grab that. Flynn, Flynn, I smell flame upon you. <laughs> what a marvelous ember. And I'll fortify you. In the same area, literally like around the corner, you're able to come from both directions. Um, uh, the other entry and then the other entry as well. Go in and there's actually a chest with a Estus flash shard in there. Go ahead and grab that. We went ahead and bought the guardians, the three of them. They were light work. They didn't really stand a fucking chance, let's be honest. All right, guys, it's a brand new day. Want to take another tackle at it. Want to take it slow. Lost Bad still kind of surprised me last time with tons of more content I have never explored. Uh, mainly going down the elevator. I don't know why I just never did it as a little kid, but I didn't do it. So let's continue on, though. Um, I don't know if I... I think I didn't die. I just looped around. So, But we need to go through this area and go across that bridge and then get our ass to the boss in the area you're, you're a bitch you're a fucking bitch all right it feels good to be back i'm loving the dark souls i'm getting back into the dark souls mood having a great time playing it oh that's fucking that's chopped bitch out of my face and there's a, there's a couple in here but i can take them down really quick Homeboy's up there. Homeboy. Come on. There's only a couple in this room. I was very surprised about that. I figured there'd be a, like a, a dozen. Alright. So we have to jump. Oh shit! Yo, fuck Lost Bastille. Giving me. Yo, they're scaring the fuck out of me. Alright. So fuck this area. We know we can't really do anything here. In this area, we got some baddies we can take care of. What the fuck? What the fuck? No! I have backstabbed that bitch. Bah! That's fucking... Bullshit. Alright. Now, this room leads us to what again? Okay, that's the elevator. That's where we went last time. We need to go across this bridge. Be careful, though. Because you're going to have archers shoot at you and all that fun shit. And it's, it's not pretty. But take down this dude. That was pretty easy. Make your way on through that gate. Let's go. Making good time. Sinners rise. That's what I'm talking about. We're getting through this area. Oh, it's fucking killing it. There's actually a bonfire up here, really, really close. So we just gotta go up this ladder. And 
the first thing you do look at that look at the gargoyles they're like patrolling and shit oh oh man's trying to get me what the fuck body bitch all right so now that we have this bonfire we can take a look around for the items in this little tower and then we're gonna go down below use the elevator and get to the first main boss in the game oh my god episode three we're already killing and getting some shit done i'm loving it fuck you bitch all right um we'll have to come back for the belfry gargoyle um i think that's what it's called in this game um later only because it requires a pharaoh's lockstone and I want to kind of balance those out because you only get a couple in the game for free. Otherwise, you have to buy them, and they do cost quite a bit of souls, believe it or not, from the vendors you uh, have. So let's look around for some items. I think we need to go keep we need to keep going down. I think yeah, keep going down. Homeboy, you are not slick, dude. Out of my face. Human effigy. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Hold on. Gonna get blasted, bitch. <laughs> I'm cheesing this fool. You got me messed up. If you think you're gonna catch me using a magic build and not have me start cheesing people. Now this guy, as you can tell, Probably has uh, a similar health pool to the actual Flexile Sentry boss. Like, the actual boss. Like, like, look at this health pool. I mean, he's dying relatively similar to, like, a normal thing. I don't know. I, there has to be something about it. I'm going to go ahead and do this now. I'm not dying, fool. That's what I'm talking about! Let me tell you, last time I played this, uh, I had so much trouble with that, man. I had to come back with, like, a fucking uh, bow and arrow and some poison shit. Like, it was a problem. All right. Now, watch out. There's some other small boys in this area that they're going to try and explode on you. But there's some decent souls in here we want to get. Are there any others that want to get up? Okay. I think this is the... The one I was talking about. Soul of a proud knight in a pharaoh's lockstone. Oh, okay. So this is the one we're going to use for the belfry. We'll use that then. Okay, now there's someone. There's someone to the right up here, though. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Fuck you, bitch. Fast out key. Fire seed. I'm not fucking with homeboy. <laughs> I'm not fucking with him. <laughs> why, why do you think I would use that? Why do you think I would even do that? Okay, so are there two ways we have to open up? I'm gonna open up both right now. That way it's easier. Oh my god, that guy scared the shit out of me. I thought he was gonna come and fucking attack me. So, what we're gonna do here, because there's nothing else we can do right now since we're uh, hollow. We need to use, you would have gotten a, uh, a, what the fuck's it called now? A, a flame butterfly? A flame butterfly. You would have gotten a couple of those by now. You want to keep those, at least one. Because you want to go ahead, before you enter the first main boss in the game, you want to go over here. And, there's two passageways left, right, and then, uh, obviously the one in the middle. You want to light these areas up with... But there's actually oil in this area. You want to use the fire on the oil, and then you have a lit up area. You can fight the first boss in the game, dark as shit, and I mean that that would probably be very challenging. So we're gonna go ahead and do. We're gonna use one of the flame butterflies. Light that bitch up. Bam. Bam. Now there's something down here, so make sure to grab that. Radiant life gem. I love it. I love it. We do have a decent amount of health, too. I'm not going to lie. Don't know. Bastile key. 
smooth and silky stone. Yeah, I figured when I played through this recently, I figured that there would be a flame butterfly in the area that's trying to just like help you out. No, you have to like you have to get one, which is good. I don't. They're not making it easy on you. Um. Okay. And that is about it. I want to do. I want to do one like this area because I'm pretty sure we can open the door. All right. Now that we have everything prepared, let's go ahead, magic up our weapon. First main boss in the game. Let's get it. Let's go. I'm excited. Yep, so he turns the lights out on you. Oh, fuck. So, the reason that we have those things lit is because now we have light in the room, which is great. Let's go ahead and get some hits on this guy. Now, I did bring cell sword uh, loot into this because I want to keep this motherfucker off me. I'm not trying to die during these boss fights. Stop playing with me, boy. No, 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 no. Heal up? Alright, there we go, there we go. What's up, bitch? What's up, bitch? You feel cornered yet? You feel cornered yet? Sell sword loot on your mitt. Oh! He's like, where am I getting hit from? I'm a fucking ninja in the night. Damn, that's where loot is getting the fucking work right now. A man just literally sitting there to be a tank. He got one hidden. All right, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. The music. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm backing up for this shit. Healing, healing, on spot. Just like that. Just like that. Salesforce Lou, I want to appreciate you for doing exactly what I wanted you to do. Not beat the boss for me, but act as a a target. Because my man was getting the majority of that attack. Let's be real. He got the work put on him. All right. Open up this fucking giant door. And there's a difference with this bonfire ahead of us. And there's a reason why. Open up. Hold on. Make sure this is not a fucking crazy chest. Open up this bad boy right here. Please be something good. Like, I don't know. Don't be an amber herb, you know? Fragment branch of yore. Elizabeth mushroom. So now we have a third fragment branch of yore. So then we have like three options to open up pathways. Or do we have two? I don't know. We have a couple though. Like I said though, this, it's an empty fucking room. A box even, you know, kind of like Mario shaped type shit. But this bonfire the hilt is broken off. The sword has is broken. And there's a reason for it. Like that bitch. And this is a primal bonfire. A primal bonfire was rekindled. That is it. Sinner's bonfire. So this one is a one it's a one way. Um you go right back to the far fire, which is Majula. But this is it. This is the end of this pathway in the game. So now we go back to the house in Majula. There's gonna be like literally like lights hit like lit in. Uh, or lit in the direction we went um so now we have to go a different direction in the game meaning there's an other there's other paths and majority we have to take so we have to venture out into one of those and there's two for us to complete there's two different pathways we can now go at and i'm trying to think about which one is the most appropriate and i think we're gonna i mean i'm gonna let the ball roll and just see where i uh, what i'm feeling when I, uh, episode four comes around but let's go ahead and head back to the Lost Bastille and figure out the Belfry area. And uh, we're going to go get that shit done. So, yeah. Well, that's fucking messed up, bro. Come on, bro. 1v1 me. 
1v1 me. Because you're kind of getting fucked up right now. That's all I'm saying. 1v1 me, Pursuer. Because you're kind of getting slapped up right now. I'm not going to lie. Oh, you're fucking one shot. Come on, bitch. Bop. 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 Twinkling tight night, baby. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Open this chest real quick. I did that solo. That's what I'm talking about. I think this is where we have to go to get into this shit. Uh, uh, Priestess child. Ooh. That might be good. That might be good. Large club. All right. All right. All right. Um, let's go ahead and put the Pharaoh's Lock Stone. This is the first time I'm using one, by the way. So you basically have to put it in there. And then a door opens up right here. And I am Belfry Luna. This is it. Yep, I was right. All right. So let's go ahead and do this shit. Talk to homeboy over here. Exhaust his dialogue. And you get a free covenant. Go ahead and do that shit. Abandon your covenant, enjoy the bellkeeper covenant. Yes. Uh, I'm pretty sure what the bellkeeper does is they basically will summon you in to basically fuck up people that are online in this area. Pretty positive, that's what it does. But uh, let's go ahead and continue on. This area is pretty short, I'm not going to lie. Uh, no pun intended, because these motherfuckers are midgets, man. Uh, hold on. But these guys are kind of bulky, not going to lie. But they're not that difficult, nevertheless. So, shouldn't be that bad. I want to go ahead and use a... I guess I'll use a Radiant Life Gem then. Only because I didn't want to use an Estus. Because I do want to take this boss down first try. I'll come. I'll summon him when time comes. Um, I like the symbol though. The symbol right now is kind of hard. For the Belfry Luna Covenant. This guy does dark damage, as you can tell from his weapons, so do not let this man hit you. He will just dominate your ass. Yep, look at that damage. These motherfuckers, do not play around. Do not play around. Alright, so, if you go up, uh, this is where the boss is at, but you have to go up top to actually, uh, open the gate. And there's actually an item up there, but there's, like, 20 of them. It's ridiculous how many there's, like, there's that, like, a, a little fucking bitches there are. Run away. Drive by in their asses. Alright, fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. These guys don't play around. And these guys are hanging out. Like butt buddies. You guys do not play. These guys are massive, man. Like, they do not mess around. Bitch! Fuck up my face. Alright. Open this one. Hold on. I want to make sure this is not... I'm about to say. I I'm not even trusting these things. Rubbish. That was probably a trap chest. Not going to lie. Every time there's rubbish, I'm like, that's probably a trap chest. Or is it when we break it, it turns the rubbish? I don't know. But as you can tell, this looks very, very familiar to a certain little area in Dark Souls 1. Um, open this gate. And then we can go ahead and take that boss down. Alright. Let's go ahead and enter the mist and take down the Belfry Gargoyles. Not... Oh, fuck. Now, there's multiple of these guys. And they're kind of tanky. Not gonna lie. That guy's actually not that bad. He's actually kind of weak now. Now that I'm looking at it. That's one. Oh, fuck that guy. You're going down, buddy. Alright, bitch. You guys are fucking mean. 
or targeting me? What did I do? Ooh, run! I'm pressing the run button! Run! Fucking fireball the sentry. What are you doing, bro? Fuck that guy. I didn't like him in the first place. Clap. You want to? Oh shit! Man's over here is trying to get some work. All right, you're a bitch. Oh, it worked, it worked, it went off, it went off. There we go. Woo! We're healing up right next to this man, I don't give a fuck. Alright. <laughs> the Belfry Gargoyles are done. You can see why I probably brought someone in. Um, it, it's a little bit more rambunction, rambunctious than the first fight. Uh, there's a lot more of them, but they don't stop coming. At, well, obviously they do. But there's just like... Ex Almost every single one of these, besides three, hopped off and tried effing with us. So, quite a bit of gargoyles to deal with. But, kind of a cool boss fight and definitely a cool cameo or a reference to the first one. So, that's dope. Um, but, let's open this chest. And there's not too much left in this area, honestly. Why did I just jump down, though? I should have got the item. I'm so stupid. I am so stupid. Should have got the fucking item. But, that concludes... Lost Bastille, Belfry Luna, Sinner's Keep, all that bullshit, whatever the fuck it's called. I'm gonna run back and get that item I missed, because I, I don't even know why. I don't know why. I don't know why I did that, but got it. Um, but that's gonna wrap it up for. Well, I do, I do wanna go back and talk about the souls and where we're going next, so hold on. I'll come back when we're done. So it turns out I actually never missed something, and I was just being stupid, but. Now we're here, I actually figured there'd be a lot more progress done, but as we further through the game, because it's we're not even close to being halfway done yet, um, there's a lot more content in store, so, because once you're done the four bosses in the game, you still have like, I don't know, a good one-fourth of section to cover, and it's pretty lengthy, so, uh, there's a lot of content after, which is not the same for Dark Souls 1, in my opinion, once you're done the four bosses, you got like, fucking Gwyn in DLC, so... Yeah, that's about it. I figured there'd be a little bit more, but when it comes to that, that's all good. We do have a couple of souls to talk about, though. We have, obviously, the lost soul, or the soul of a lost sinner. This is a boss soul, which looks very similar to the one you found in Dark Souls 1 in your key items once you beat the four kings, or the four main bosses. You can actually consume these, whereas in Dark Souls 1, you had to keep them um, for the, lost, or for the, for the uh, Lord Vessel. Let's go ahead and use this bad boy. We're not going to be turning into anything crazy. Um, it does give quite a bit of souls, so it's actually really nice to have. The Belfry Gargoyle, hell yeah. And I did consume a lot of uh, souls for it, uh, level up and stuff like that, but this will ha help us tie us over and give us a little bit more insight to what we're looking at. Look at this man's fucking shit. God damn. Alright, so let's go ahead. And so we're looking at, we're level 85 right now. We have 20 in Invigor. Uh, 14 in Endurance, 10 in Vitality, 18 in Entunement, uh, and then we have 23 in Intelligence. So we're just going up and up and up and up and up. I want to look at, um, we have quite a bit of, we have, so we have, uh, quite a bit of levels here, like six levels, I think. That's quick maths. I don't do math really well. So let's, let's put that Attunement up to 20, make that four slots of stuff. Let's keep going on the Intelligence front. Nah, I want to put the rest, I'll put two, put two in there. I'm going to put the rest into uh, Vitality only because now we're level 28 in strength, so we can now equip the sword I'm trying to go for. With that being said, uh, we, it is a heavier sword, so we need to wear, uh, we need to wear rings that will increase our equip load or wear, uh, you know, uh, lighter equipment. So we're going to go ahead and put the rest in that. That way we can, you know, have a better equip load overall. And that's already 3.5, or that's three points better than what we had. So that's all good. So we're level 91 now. 
Level 91. Which is really good. Really, really, really good. Let's go over here and talk to Homeboy. Because I want to get some better souls here. I want to get some better uh, magics. I do want this at some point. This shortens the spell casting time. If I do, like for PvP and stuff like that. Um, and now I want to get a, because we have, we have the great soul arrow. I want to get a heavy soul arrow. That way we can just dish out stronger attacks. And we should be able to do that. So, with that being said, we have two, like I said, two options to go in our journey. We have, um, the Shaded Woods, which has the Pyromancer and an Estus Shard over there. But what I think we're going to go do is first is we're going to go to the, uh... The other part in the game, which is, fuck, I'm trying to remember the area. It's nice, dark. Uh, we have a bunch of. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm not really good at explaining this shit. I, this is like my least familiar game because I play it the least. But um, we're gonna go and do the other route first because there's uh, probably easier enemies, and will probably bring us to an easier uh, outcome. I, I'm trying to think about it now. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a, a better route for us to take. It's uh, shorter, some better confidence in there. And it's a good time. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to adjust some things uh, off screen. That way we can actually use our better sword and have our nice magic going on as well. With that being said, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Bye-bye. Thank you.